Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you? How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Ricardo. How are you today? Everything good? So, so? Everything okay. Everything okay. How was your day? What did you do today? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Diana. You're going to be a listener. Yes. Okay, next. Sí, teacher, we... mientras llego a casa. Ah, okay, no problem. Okay. That's nice, very good. Okay, and I'm answering to your classmates, Nelson Salmeron and Armando, right? Okay, so it's okay. So uh, what do you remember about the last class, about the yesterday's class? Something you remember? Yes, what do you remember? Uh-huh, what did we study? Okay, good evening, Karina Beatriz, okay. No problem, Karina. So something you remember about yesterday? <clears throat> okay, Karina, no problem. Okay, so uh -huh, what do you remember to about yesterday? What we studied yesterday? Uh -huh. ¿Qué se acuerdan de ayer? ¿Qué estudiamos ayer? El presente participio. El participio, teacher. The past participle, right? In the past participle. The past participle, perdón. Uh -huh. The past participle is for the tense, simple past or present perfect? Present perfect. Oh, okay, yes, uh -huh. yes, right. Okay, present perfect, right? In the present perfect, we have, a, we use the past participle of the verbs. Okay, let me to show you just uh, the information. Okay, give me a second, please. <clears throat> Here we have the info. I don't see the PDF. Let me see. Well, first of all, this you're going to listen a conversation. Just okay. So you're going to listen now. What can you see in the pictures? Tell me something you can see in the picture. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. What happened in the picture? Uh huh. What can you see? How many people can you see? The, can you see the picture? Yes. What, what, what do you think? Where are they? What are they doing? Uh -huh. So according with the picture, right? Don't read the conversation. <laughs> so, they, are, uh -huh. they, the they are talking. They are talking, yes. In a cafe or in a cafeteria. Uh -huh. and what do you think? Do you think they are? Uh -huh. Yes, very good, Anna. Uh, do you think they are family? Relatives or friends? Or police? Friends. Huh? Friends. Okay, friends. that's nice. That's nice, very good. Now, you're going to listen. Uh -huh. Hi, friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's okay. Who oh, is also? Husbands. Do you think oh, they husband. are husbands? Okay, you're going to listen to the conversation and you're going to tell me what you listen, okay? You're going to tell this in the conversation. Unit 10. Have you ever ridden a camel? Page 64, exercise 2, conversation. A visit to New Orleans. Part A. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually... Okay, what did you listen? Something you listen? Yes? Did you listen to the conversation? Yes, are you available yes, to listen? Uh -huh. Okay, good evening, Carlos Alfo. Yes, what did you listen? Any word, any phrase? You listen? Yes? Yes. Ah, ¿Y qué escucharon? Cualquier palabra? Eh, great to see, great to see you. Great to see you, very good, what else? 
How you been? How okay? Have you been in New Orleans? New Orleans, right? The city, New Orleans, in United States, right? New Orleans. What else? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Bonita. Okay, listen the rest. Really, yes. that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay. Now, what else did you listen? ¿Qué más escuchó? Take it easy. Take it easy. Yes. I got hair today. Uh huh. Yes. Very good. Okay. That's nice. Now listen. Uh huh. Listen one more time. Listen one more time. Unit 10. Have you ever ridden a camel? Page 64, Exercise 2, Conversation. A visit to New Orleans. Part A. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, so what is the conversation about? What did you listen in the conversation? Tell me. Yes? Something you listen in the conversation? Yes. Mm -hmm. What? What did you listen? Hmm? Mm. Palabra corta from my can. Uh huh, I can. Yes, it's okay. Yes. We'll have, we'll have uh -huh. anything. Anything very good, Take excellent. It easy. Take it easy, right? Take it easy. Okay, you're gonna listen and you're gonna read. You are going to read the conversation. Listen and read a visit to New Orleans, right? Listen and read the conversation. Unit 10 Have you ever ridden a camel? Page 64, exercise 2 Conversation A visit to New Orleans. Part A. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh... I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, so uh, so listen the pronunciation. It's great to see you, Todd. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Just a, just a few days. I can't wait to show you the city. Show you. Show you the city. Have you been? Tenemos otra unión aquí. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I already been to one. Oh, well. How about a riverboat tour? How about? How about a riverboat tour? Mm, I already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you wanna do? So you can say want to do, or you can say wanna do right here. Want to do or wanna do. You know, I really just wanna take it easy. I just really wanna take it easy. My feet are killing me. Yes, wanna, right? Wanna or want to? Wanna for family and friends, and want to for a, <clears throat> and want to for um, for formal formal situations. 
take it easy. The letter E is silent, so <clears throat> you you link the letter K with I. Take it easy. Okay, man. So, good 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 night, everyone. Good night, uh, Armando. So, do you have any question with pronunciation or vocabulary? Do you have any question? Question, questions? Just a few days, right? Show you. Have you been? How about what river you, what, river boat river boat river tour boat. river boat tour yes river, river boat tour is this look at this this is a take a river boat tour this is to go to mm -hmm. a boat in a tour this one take a river boat tour that's a that's a river boat tour Yes, yes. More questions with vocabulary? No. Take it easy. Tómalo suave, ¿verdad? My feet are killing me. Mis pies me están matando, ¿verdad? She mentioned many things. She mentioned many activities, but he, he just want to take it easy. He just wants to take it easy. And uh, he said, my feet are killing me. So this is the man is visiting the city. The man is visiting the employers. My feet are killing Teacher. me. Teacher. Me están matando. Mi, me, es, pies me duelen. Uh -huh. Yes. Este, ¿Y por qué razón este se une la palabra a la hora de pronunciar? ¿Cuál de todas? Por ejemplo, have you, las Porque que la, marcó con, con verde. Porque la es muda. Porque, 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 because the letter E is silent. Entonces, como no dice have, have you, dice, entonces queda la V, okay. la, U, la V se une con you, have you. Uh -huh. Yeah, sí, sí. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Y, okay. y ahí este, la unión de jazz con A, ah, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Ya está. Ya está. Just a few days. Oh, yes. Just a few days. Yes, mm -hmm. just a few days, right? Just a few days. Okay, so uh -huh. yeah, here in this one, in the this sentence, the pronunciation is like just yes, right. And let me to write it with blue. Just a few days. Uh -huh. The pronunciation, right? The pronunciation. Y, y el significado de just eh, eh, es más como auxiliar o como no, es una palabra. Dice, no, es eh, grandioso verte todo. Has, has estado, eh, has tú estado en New, ¿cuánto tiempo has estado en New Orleans? Eh, have you been in New Orleans? Ah, has estado bastante, has estado largo aquí en New Orleans, has estado bastante tiempo en New Orleans. Y ella, él le responde, él, no, en verdad no, solo unos pocos días, solo uh -huh. unos pocos días, ya está a few days. Ya está, solo. Uh -huh. Solo unos Como pocos Complementando días. la palabra. Complementando la oración, la frase. Uh -huh. Just a few days. Yes. Okay. So you're going to practice the conversation in the breakup rooms. Okay. So I'm going to send you to the breakup rooms. The conversation is in the WhatsApp group. In the WhatsApp group, so you can practice the conversation, right? Okay. Y la, uh, y la contracción, okay. perdón, de, del pronombre... I con how acá en la cual 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 perdón I con how de, de dice todo uh, uh, I have already who uh, I pero pero I've already I've already presente I've, I've, I've ah, con F dijo verdad con F yes I've already I've, done that too I've already ¿Mm? y qué tal un 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 tour de en de bote en río le dice ella. And yo ya hice eso también. I've already done that too. I've, yo ya hice eso. Ajá. Este yes. me gustaría, no sé si puede, okay. que si pudiera compartirnos así como, así como lo ha hecho ahí, que lo ha clasificado la, las horas, no, las palabras que van juntas. Ajá. Porfa, porque ya así sin... sin y lo que usted le ha puesto, pues se me olvida. Ah, ok. Que le ver si lo tengo. Pero creo que ya lo había marcado. Pero quiero ver. 
Just give me a few seconds. I'm looking for it. Okay. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna send you the picture. The picture because I don't have it near. So I'm gonna send you the picture. I'm gonna send you the picture, okay? So and I'm answering to Martinez. Okay, so give me a few seconds. So I'm gonna close this. Okay, I start on la imagen. Okay. Ahí está. Okay. Uh, do you have more questions with pronunciation or vocabulary? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. La palabra Todd. En la, la palabra primera oración. Todd es el nombre del muchacho. Todd. Ah, Dice T -O -D -D. Oh. Jan and Todd. Jan Por and es que Todd. no me lo traducía el traductor acá. Ajá. Pues sí. Jan, Jan and Todd. Yes. Ah, sí. Okay. Yes. Okay, more question with vocabulary? No, ya mirado, está bien. Okay. Teacher, so you... can you explain again? The what? Can you explain again? Because I don't understand. What you don't understand? Uh, the vocabulary. Todd, Todd is a name. Todd. No, Jan teacher. And... Uh, no, teacher. Uh, ¿Por qué está en verde eso? No entendí. Ah, acaba de entrar. Está no, teacher, venía manejando. Ah, porque se une, porque la Corre. consonante. Ajá, por eso la... quiero saber la unión. Ajá, la consonante se une con la vocal. La con... Entonces, eh, por ejemplo, show you, have you, how about. The pronunciation, this one is like a letter R. How about. Just a few days, just a show you, have you, how about, how about Riverboat Tour. Take it easy, la, como la es muda, ¿verdad? No dice take easy. Entonces, como la es muda, la casa se une con la I. Y aquí, en donde tiene want to, es, puede decir want to o puede decir wanna. Uh -huh. Wanna is in informal, want to is informal. Uh -huh. no, bueno. Ok, I'm going to show you, uh, ok, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Open the breakout rooms for practice in the conversation. Okay. So okay, teacher. Thank you. Now, so let me see. Si alguien lo saca, pues se queda aquí en la sesión para practicar, no hay problema. Ay, en el 6 tengo dos. Quiero ver, voy a mover ahí. En el, en el room 6 tengo dos. Pero voy a mover a esta chica. Porque ambos son listening. Aquí sí está bien. Uh, the room number four. I'm gonna move to Ingrid. I don't know if Ingrid is just listening. Room number two. Estoy tratando de arreglar los breakout rooms para que, que no queden tantos. Es como la, los que tienen la L solo están escuchando, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que no queden tantos así, solos. Okay, I open all the breakout rooms. Okay, Ana Ramos, se queda. Stay here, please. No, Ana Ramos. Okay. Okay. So, y Ricardo Villosa, I'm gonna send you to the to the breakup room number five. Okay. Allí tenemos a Jaime, tenemos a Daniela. Okay. Only listeners. Emma Débora, no sé si va a practicar porque creo que se va a quedar solo porque tiene. Uh -huh. So let me see. So in the breakup room number seven, we have, no, Armando and Ana Ramos, no. So we, in the number six, we have a Henry. Pero creo que lo voy a mover. So to the room number two, right? Armando está de oyente. Yes, he's just listening. My, aquí we have a three, we have a three, we have a two, we have a three. Okay, you are going to practice the conversation, right? A Emma la voy a tener que mover porque solo está ella. What? Ok. Ok. A ver si se mueve Emma. Ok. So, in the room number two we have, ok. También tenemos a Nelson Rutia. Nelson is listening, just listening, right? Ok. Emma, ahí está. Bye. Ok, very good. Excellent. So, you're going to practice the conversation, right? Practice the conversation. 
Okay, that's nice, very good. Okay, here, who are here right now? Vamos a ver, who are here for practice the conversation? Okay, I don't know if... Okay, so, let's see. Just give me a second, please. Okay, uh -huh. who can practice the conversation with Ana Ramos? Mm -hmm. uh, who? Hi, Ana. Nel, uh, uh, Carla Gabriela Garcia. I don't know if you are, you can, you are available to talk, Ana Gabriela. Ana Gabriela, hello, hello. Okay, so, okay. Yes, Ana Ramos, no problem. So, uh, vamos a ver. Anderson Jeremy. Can you practice the conversation with Ana Ramos? Aquí me mandaron mensaje. Okay. Okay, so uh, Jeremy, uh, okay, Jeremy is going to be tall and Ana Ramos is going to be Chan, okay? Okay, okay. Mm. Sure. Ah? Me salía el mm, azulito ahí. El azulito, ah, ya está. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is the pronunciation, yes. Okay, so, okay. Practice the conversation, please. Empieza Ana. Ana, ah, no, empieza. Sí, Ana Ramón, empiezas. It's great to see you. Todd, have you been in New Orleans long? No, not really. Who's has a fair day? Hmm? I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I be already been to one. Mm -hmm. Oh well, how are how are how are a river boat too? Mm -hmm. Oh, I I I be already do done that too. Mm -hmm. How do you reading in street car? Mm -hmm. They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got hurt today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Mm -hmm. You know, I really, really just want to. Day is easy. My feet are killing me. My feet are killing me. Okay, do you have any okay. question with pronunciation or vocabulary? ¿Tiene preguntas with pronunciation or vocabulary? Y yo me trabé ahí en 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 show you, show you, show you, show, show you. you. ¿Estaba bien show you? Show you. La show tercera you. renglón de Chan. I can wait to show you the city. The city. Show you the city, muy bien. I can y wait to show en, you the city. Y la otra en Chan, oh well. How about how about how about a river boat tour? A river boat tour. Yes. Okay. Yo, yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Cómo se pronuncia I be? Well, ¿En cuál? I been. Uh -huh. I been already. I been already. Ah, uh, I've. Eh, esta esta que está aquí, verdad? Uh -huh. eh, oh, I already done that too. No. Sí, sí es. Okay. The pronunciation of this one is I've I've Already right. done that too. Oh, Already okay. done that too. Okay. okay Ahora que gracias. puede empezar Jeremy y sigue Ana Ramos. Okay. Yo hago la switch. Uh -huh. It's great to see you, to have you. Being in next Orleans long. Uh -huh. No, not really. Just a fair day. Uh -huh. I can't wait to show you the city huh? uh, have you um, been to has club yet yes yeah i've already been to one oh we'll hope about our river book tour mm, i've i've already done done that too don't that too. Huh? Don't that too. Have, have you read it, written in a, a streetcar? There uh -huh. are a lot of fun. 
Huh? Actually, that's how I go there today. Mm -hmm. Will is there a uh, needing you want to do? Yeah. You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Mm -hmm. My feet are killing me. Very good. My feet My are feet killing me. My feet are killing me. Okay. Alguna palabra que les haya gustado pronunciar? An yes. expression? Riverboat, I was saying. I can... oh. oh, well. Oh, mm -hmm. well. How mm -hmm. about a riverboat tour? A riverboat oh. tour. How about? Okay. A, river a me boat. as a teacher. ¿Cuál? Esa misma. I've, I've already. I've already. I've, 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 I've already, already. I've already done that too. I already done uh, that too. I've already. Mm -hmm. I already done that too. Yes, I've. I, I've. Yes, done that too. I've yes. already. Uh -huh. Yes, I've. Como una F, ¿verdad? I've. I I've. Have, I've already done that too. I've. More I've. Questions? Yes, more questions with pronunciation? Teacher, y la última palabra eh, es uh, take it easy o take, take it easy. Take, take it easy. Take it easy. La, take it easy. Sí, okay. la K se une con la I y la T como una R, ¿verdad? Take it easy. Tómala al suave. Take, ¿no? take it easy. Take it easy. Cal o cálmate. Ajá. Take it easy es como cálmate, toma el suave. Y my feet are killing me, mis pies me están matando. More questions? Chair, usted mencionó, bueno, es que no me recuerdo. River, river boat, ¿cómo es? River boat river tour. A river, river boat. boat tour. Yes. Es un tour en, en, en el bote, en, un, en el río. <laughs> okay, no more questions? No more questions? No. 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 Questions with vocabulary or pronunciation? No. Okay, so we're gonna move to the next activity. In the next activity, look at this example. Okay, because you are going to make a uh, letter A and letter B. I've driven trucks for many years, right? I've driven, yo he conducido camiones por muchos años. Ayer estábamos hablando sobre esto del presente perfecto y estábamos diciendo, ¿verdad? Que el presente perfecto se forma usando I have eaten. El verbo en pasado participio. Por ejemplo, tenemos el eat. Tenemos eat, ¿verdad? El pasado de eat, ate. Solo movemos la e al principio. Ate. Y el pasado participio es eaten. Comido. Comido, ¿verdad? Entonces, este pasado participio que usamos en el tiempo presente perfecto. Este es el tiempo presente perfecto. Lo utilizamos, lo hallamos en la tercera columna, ¿verdad? Del listado de los verbos, ¿verdad? Entonces, para formar el presente perfecto, la estructura es el sujeto, personal pronoun, el have o has, y después de esto, vamos a utilizar el verbo en pasado participio y el complemento. Por ejemplo, I have eaten, yo he comido. O la forma abreviada, I've eaten, I've eaten, que es lo mismo. Forma larga, forma eh, contraction form. We have eaten, nos, nosotros hemos comido. ¿ah? Ok, you have eaten, tú has comido. Ok, Blanca, no problem. So, they have eaten, uh, ellos han comido. Ok, so you have a, eh, he has eaten, él ha comido. She has Me eaten, o she, mueble, ella ha comido. It has eaten, eso ha comido, ¿verdad? Ok, uh, entonces tenemos que va a utilizar el sujeto, el have o has y el eaten. El has para he, she, eat. Y el verbo en pasado participio, ¿verdad? Pasado participio, aquí se lo vamos a, aquí se lo voy a mostrar. Now, I've driven trucks for many years. I have driven trucks for many years. Yo he conducido camiones por muchos años. That is the title. Now look at the conversation. I'm going to larger. This is a job interview, right? This is a job interview about uh, an employee. So do you know how to drive trucks? Do you know how to drive trucks? Yes, I driven trucks for many years. Do you have any question with this? 
question with the pronunciation or vocabulary or no is clear is it clear no uh -huh. teacher como yes, sonaría drive. la driving i i driving trucks uh -huh. i esa era i uh -huh. i and remember that you have to use the very important lo voy a volver a marcar Okay, so remember that you have to use uh, the verb in past participle, right? The verb in past participle. Trucks, right? And so, uh, dry. ¿Cuál es el pasado participio de dry? Según eh, la conversación. Driving. Driven. 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 ¿Tú sabes cómo manejar camiones? Está en una entrevista de trabajo, ¿verdad? ¿Tú sabes cómo manejar camiones? Sí, yo he manejado camiones por muchos años. Entonces, por ejemplo, aquí le preguntan, ¿tú sabes cómo montar caballos? Ride horses, ride horses. Eh, ups. And the past participle of ride horses is, ¿cuál sería el pasado participio de ride horses? The ride, ¿cuál sería? Really. Really. Riden, ¿verdad? Este sería el pasado. Este de rojo. Este de rojo es el pasado participio. Entonces tenemos aquí spoken. Ay, tenemos aquí iren, que son los pasados participios de los verbos. Tenemos given. Entonces lo que usted me va a decir es así, mire. Uy, 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 me equivoqué. Entonces usted, lo que usted me va a decir. Eh, so in green one, I'm gonna mark green one. Ay, esperen, no le cambio el color. Okay, so, so uh, you have here, you can say, uh, ride horses and read them, right? Entonces sería, do you know how to ride horses? Yes, read them. Yes, I've ridden, or I have ridden horses for many years. Another example, do yoga. ¿Cuál es, what is the past participle for do? ¿Cuál sería el pasado participio para do? Don't. 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 Dice Rodríguez. ¿Quién dice? Rodríguez. Pero me lo estoy contestando a sus compañeros que la sacó de la clase. Ok, y el otro chico que no puede entrar, apáguelo y vuelva a entrar. Okay. So you have a, a do yoga done, right? Do yoga, the pronunciation for this one is do yoga. So the past participle for do yoga is done, right? It's done, so the past participle. Now, so you have a, a here, done, right? Now, for example, here, do you know how to do yoga? Yes, I have done yoga for many years. Ok, y la último ejemplo que le voy a dar para que usted la haga después. <coughs> draw cartoons, dibujar caricaturas. De pasado participio de draw es drawn. Ok, do you know how to draw cartoons? ¿Usted sabe cómo dibujar caricaturas? Yes, I have drawn cartoons for many years. Yo he, he dibujado caricaturas por muchos años. Ok, ahora le toca a usted escoger de la 1 a la 6, 1. Y cambiar lo de verde por lo de verde, lo de rojo por lo de rojo, ¿verdad? Ok, look, give me an example. Give me, yes. Give me. You have to change the green information for the green information and the red information for the red information, right? So it's similar to the examples below, the examples that we already have done. Ok, so you have in the number one, write reports. The past participle of right written, written. Entonces, en la number two, fly airplanes. El pasado de fly, flown. Number three, take x-rays. The past participle of take, taken. And also you have here, <clears throat> eh, so speak Swahili, spoken. Usted va a coger dos de estas y me las va a decir. En, en, similar al ejemplo. De arriba, similar al ejemplo de arriba, este, ¿cómo se llama? Lo que tiene que hacer es eh, cambiar la información, la de roja por la de roja y la de verde por la de verde, ¿verdad? 
De allí todo lo demás igual. Lo que no está marcado igual. Do you know how to? The same. Yes, I have. Yes, the same. For many years, the same. It's clear what are you want to do? You have to choose two. Two numbers. Escoja dos nombres. Dos números. Dos números. You have to choose two numbers. No sé si está clara la actividad. Is it clear or no? Yes. Sería pregunta, respuesta. Yes. For two. For two numbers. Dos veces. Dos veces la A, dos veces la B. Bueno. Pregunta, respuesta, usted la haría in your notebook. In your notebook, the question and the answer for one number and the question and the answer for other numbers. So you have to do it two, twice. You have to do it two times. <clears throat> for example, we are right horses. So do you know how to ride horses? Yes, I have ridden horses for many years, right? Remember that the same verb in present is the same verb that you're gonna use in past participle. Adam Ramos, do you have any question? Do you write report, Ricardo Belloso? No, pero la, usted no. va a hacer las dos cosas, la pregunta y la respuesta. Ah, la pregunta y la... Ah, a mí sí, me tocan sí. las dos. ¿Qué? Sí, sí. Y de dos números. Mm, no se vale así, profe. Tenía que preguntar uno y responder otro. <risa> <risa> Yo cambiándole oh. la plana. Bueno. Ok, entonces, ok, no es probable. Do you no, write tiempo. report? Si, si no le doy tiempo, no hay problema. No, hágalo con calma, no es problema. Ah, entonces. Sí, ok. No, ahorita solo le quería preguntar si estaba claro lo, la actividad. Ah, sí. Sí, okay. está claro. Ok. Eh, ¿Who else? Uh, no. Sí, porque es que lo que pasa es que hay, hay algunos compañeros que están, que tienen la L. La L significa que están de oyentes, de listener. Sí. Entonces, como hay varios compañeros este, de oyentes, tiene más posibilidad de usted eh, de hacer dos. Oh, y este... Bien. Y algunos les está fallando la señal, como a Blanca. Eh, ok, Diana. Sí, pues, okay. De... Sacó. Lo sacó, ¿verdad? Sí, pero ya, ya regresé. Ah, ok. Solo ya que la imagen, se ve, yes. la imagen se ve como empañada. Ah, ok. Ah, pues se la voy a volver a compartir. Vamos a ver. Comparto ahorita. ¿Hay ahora? ¿Se ve mejor, Aníbal? Es... Bye. Se ve bueno. lo mismo, Tiche. Bueno, en mi caso. Ajá. ¿Todos la ven eh, borrosa? Sí, se ve bien, ahorita sí. Mm, yo creo que es la señal. Ah, a mí me está fallando esta la señal. Ajá. Bien borroso lo veo. Sí, le voy a mandar la foto entonces al grupo de WhatsApp. A, a veces okay, es la teacher. señal. A veces es la señal. Ok, so, uh, vaya, ¿qué es lo que va a hacer para los que todavía no han entendido? Por eso le estaba preguntando si estaba clara la actividad. Vaya, ¿qué es lo que va a hacer? Entonces usted, mire, va a copiar la A y la B tal como está, pero donde tiene marcado lo de verde, va a ponerlo de verde. Donde tiene lo de rojo, va a ponerlo de rojo. Por ejemplo, usted tiene, eh, se supone que es una, como una entrevista de trabajo. Entonces, do you know how to take x-rays? ¿Usted sabe cómo tomar rayos X? Yes, yo he tomado rayos X por muchos años. Yes, I have taken X-rays for many years. ¿Verdad? Usando lo de verde, va a sustituir lo de verde por lo de verde y lo de rojo por lo de rojo. Creo que allí no hay donde ponerse. ¿verdad? Por eso se los coloreo. Okay. Solo es tomar los ejemplos de los mismos que están ahí ya. Eh, sí, de los que están ahí ya. Okay. Dice Armando que no, que lo veo borroso. A ver, se lo voy a compartir otra vez. Uh -huh. Do you know how to drive trucks? 
Yes, I've driven trucks for many years. The same verb that you have, the verb that you have is the verb that you have to use, but in past participle. Drive, driven. Trucks, trucks. The same. Mm -hmm. Eh, profe, solo ahí um, la pronunciación del el participio de fly. Flown. The fly así is como, flown. Flown, But, así sí. como flown. Ajá. Sí. Yes, el pasado. Le tenemos que agregar el many years, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, siempre había ir for many years en todo. Many, for many years, for many years, va a ir en todo. Ya tengo las mías, teacher. Ok, can you read them, please? What number? Ah, dígame los números para así saber. Ah, uh, uh, what number? One. Number one. And two. And number two, write report. Report. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Sí. Okay. Bueno, eh, do you know how to write in report? Uh -huh. Yes. It's written report for many years. Yes. Uh -huh. I have written. I have written uh, reports. I okay. have written. Written okay, reports. Well. Sí, written. I have written report. Yes. Excellent. Sure. Yes. Sí, Aníbal. Igual. Las mías, a ver si no me equivoco. O si las hice bien. Vale, solo que termina Ana Ramos. Le falta una Ana Ramos. Ya ahorita. Sí. ahorita. Ok, Ana Ramos. Okay. okay. Did you know how to fly airplanes? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I fly airplane for many years. I have, I, uh, I yes, have I, yes, I, I flown airplanes for many years. Very good. Airplanes Excellent. for many years. Yes, sabes cómo manejar, cómo, sabes cómo volar un avión, sabes cómo volar aviones. <coughs> sí, yo he volado aviones por muchos años. Ok, Aníbal, Aníbal, Eva. Yes, uh, do you know how to give the injection? Yes, I give it for many years. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. La number two. Well, the number, no, number six. what? Number six. Give injection. Number six. Injectar. Uh -huh. Given. Yes. So, bueno. Sí, sí, sí. Do you know how to okay. give injections? Yes, I. Giving injections for many years. Ok, y la esa solo, solo una me ha dicho, ¿va? ¿Y la otra? ¿O solo una hizo? Eh, sí, o eran dos. Bueno, voy a hacer la otra. Vaya, ok, no problem. It's ok, no problem. ¿Alguien más? ¿Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguien más? Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Vale, ¿quién dijo, ¿A quién le abogas primero? ¿Al que me dijo teacher o que me dijo mí? Vale, el que le dijo teacher antes después de, la... de Don Jaime. Después de Jaime. Eh, do you know how to eat? To eat eh, stoptics. Yes, uh -huh. I eat them stoptics. Ah, ajá. Eaten. Eaten chopsticks. Eaten. Eating with chopsticks. Chopsticks. Yes, chopsticks son los palillos chinos. Yes. Do you know how to eat uh -huh. with chopsticks? Yes, I've uh -huh. eaten with chopsticks for many years. Very good. Uh -huh. ¿Y la otra, Jaime, si la hizo? Do you know how to give the injection? Yes, uh -huh. I, I, I give an injection for many years. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Si les cuesta decir, I've given injections, eh, o sea, I've, y el pasado participio diga, I have given. No, no hay problema. I have given. Yeah. Puede ser, eh, sin contractar, diga, how to give injections. Yes, I give injections for many years. Ok. Yes, entonces, eh, puede decir la manera, la manera completa, ¿verdad? Si no la puede decir contractada. Este, no hay problema. Puede ser, I've, o I given, o I have. Perdón, I, I have en vez de I've, ¿ok? ¿Quién más? ¿Somebody else? Ya. Yeah. ¿Ok? Sí, Ingrid. No, ¿quién me dijo ya? Sí, eh, yo. Yeah. Ok, Ingrid. Uh -huh. uh, number three. Number three, take x-rays. Uh -huh. 
Yes. Yes, I've taken eggs race mm -hmm. many years. And yes, I've ta taken eggs race many years. For, for many, many years. For many years. Years. For many years. Yes. Uh -huh. And number one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I. I've write reports for many years. Mm -hmm. I've write, write, how se pronounce Written, written report. Written, written report for many years. Sí, solo que en la pregunta, vi que se equivocó en la pregunta. La pregunta es tal como está aquí, solo lo de verde. Lo de verde lo cambia por lo de verde. Por ejemplo, ah, you know okay. how to write reports. En vez de dry tracks, iría write reports. Do you, know right. how to, do you know how to write reports? ¿Sabes cómo escribir reportes? Y la, la persona de entrevista por el trabajo le responde, sí, yo he escrito reportes por muchos años. Yes, I have written reports for many years. Ok, pero está bien, Ingrid, no problem. Ok, okay Nelson, very good. Do you know how to take x-ray? Yes, I've taken x-rays for many years. Very good, Nelson. Perfect. Teacher, ya tengo la segunda. Ok, Aníbal, go ahead. Do ya you know no. how to too late? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Aníbal, del... <laughs> qué mala Do you know how to write report? Uh -huh. Yes, I've written for many years. Uh -huh. I have written reports. I have written reports for oh, many years. I've written for many years. Yes, very good. Yo he escrito reportes por muchos años, ¿verdad? Porque en la pre... en la entrevista... injection. Uh -huh. Okay, Felicia. Teacher, uh, number two. Uh -huh. Do you know how to fly airplanes? Airplanes. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. I flew airplanes for many years. Excellent. Very good. Y la number, otra? Number, number six. Six. Do you, yes. Okay. Do you know how to give injection? Yes, I give injections for many years. I'm uh, giving injections for many years. Very good, excellent, Felicia. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Hay alguien más? Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay. Okay. Email. <laughs> ¿Quién Imelda o Diana? Me. Me. Yo quién? Imelda. 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 Ah, okay. okay, Imelda. Okay. Go ahead. Do you know how to fly air, airplanes? Airplanes? No. Air, uh -huh. air, airplanes? Hmm? No, I fly air, air, air... ¿Cómo se pronuncia eso? I, I, ¿Eh? I fly airplanes. I, I, I fly, fly airplanes. Airplanes. For many years. Airplanes true for... Many years. Ah, uh, trucks no. Este ya no, verdad. Camiones ya no. Camiones era de la del gem. I I have okay. flown airplanes for many years. Very good. Pero está bien. Okay. Solo una hizo o hizo dos. Y la dos. La segunda. Um, la segunda. Do you know how to write report? Hmm? Yes, I writing. For many years. Yes, I written written for many years. Written reports. Written, written reports. For, reports written for, report for many years. Okay. For Hay alguien many más? Year, years. Me teacher. Okay, Diana. Right? Number five. Okay. Do you know how to eat with chopsticks? Mm -hmm. Yes, I've eaten with chopsticks for many years. Uh -huh. Yes, perfect. And number four, do you know how to speak Swahili? 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 Yes, I've spoken Swahili for many years. Uh -huh. I've spoken, right? I've spoken. Oh, I have spoken Swahili for many years. Excellent, very good. ¿Qué más? Me, teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. La que dijo me, yes. Do you know how to write reports? Uh -huh. Yes, I've written 
written reports for many years. Mm. Uh, do you do you know how to fly airplanes? Mm. Yes, I've flown airplanes flown. for many years. Flown, uh -huh. flown, flown airplanes for many years. Eh, reports, es eh, reports, oh, ¿verdad? Reportes es eh, reports. Ajá, como una I, no es reports, es eh, reports. Ok, pero, pero está bien, muy bien. ¿Alguien más? O ya estuvo. Y la pronunciación del participio de, de write, profe, ¿cómo es written. que? Written, de write, written. Written, no es, no es written, no es written. No, written. es written, es written, written yes. como usted escribe. Written, uh -huh. yes, Diana. ¿Y el, ¿Y el verbo buy se puede utilizar? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál verbo? Buy, comprar. Ajá, uh -huh. but. Es, ¿En cuál lo podría but. utilizar? Sí, o sea, sí. Buy, but, but. I had bought. I've bought. Yo he comprado, uh -huh. I had bought. Ah, uh -huh. ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, I had bought, for example, I had bought a computer. I had bought a printer the last year. Yo he comprado una impresora el año pasado. Okay. So, uh, like Stephanie mandó, do you know how to give injections? ¿Sabes cómo inyectar? Yes, I have I'm giving injection for many years. Yo he dado inyecciones, yo he inyectado por muchos años. Do you know how to fly airplanes? Yes, I have flown airplanes for many years. ¿Sabes cómo volar aviones? Sí, yo he volado aviones por muchos años. Solo el verbo fly, eh, el pasado participio blanca es flown, ¿ok? Flown, se comió la, la N. Solamente es flown. Ok, so we are going to pass to the next activity. You have a, a conversation. Okay, una conversation that you have. Eh, Ricardo, eso, do you know how to speak English? Yes, I have spoken English for many years. Ok, le cambié el suahili, ¿verdad? Ok, está bien, está bien. ¿Sabes cómo hablar inglés? Do you know how to speak English? Yes, I have spoken English for many years. Very good. Excellent, Ricardo Belloso. En tu blanca, Stephanie, en Nelson. Y, eh, um, ok, enviaron ahí los ejemplos, ok. So, we are going to pass to a conversation. So in this conversation, it's about getting reacquainted with someone. Uh, getting acquainted is to get familiar with someone, to get familiar, to get re-familiar with someone, it will be says Conversation model. Audrey, have you met Hannah? Audrey, have you met Hannah? No, I haven't. Hannah, I'd like you to meet Audrey. Hi, Audrey, you look familiar. Have we met before? I don't think so. I don't think so. I know. Last month you were at my sister Nicole's party. Oh, that's right. How have you been? Okay, tiene preguntas con el. You're welcome, Blanca. Eh, tiene preguntas con el vocabulario. O la pronunciación. Puede ver la conversación. Sí? Yes, teacher. Okay. <clears throat> Do you have any question with pronunciation or vocabulary so far? Tiene preguntas con el vocabulario. Este ya se las había enviado ayer, creo, no, antier, no me acuerdo. Pero ahí está, ahí, otra vez. Do you have any question with pronunciation? Oh, no. No questions? Ok. Eh, yes? Mm -hmm. Vaya, lo va a repetir en su casa, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Repite con mí. Audrey, have you met Hannah? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Anna, I like you to meet Audrey. Anna, I like you. I like you to meet Audrey. Hi, Audrey. You look familiar. Have we met before? Hi, Audrey. Hi, Audrey. You, look you look familiar. How you met How before? You before? Excellent, very good. And the next one, um, I don't. I, I, I don't, don't think, think so. so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Think, think, como la Z de Zaragoza. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yes, I don't think so. La de es entre las dos. I don't, 
Ah, la de esta entre la Ajá. La de esta entre las dos vocales se puede usar como una R. Y esta TH es como think. Think. Como think. I don't, I don't think, think, so. think so. Ajá, excelente. Very good. I don't think so. Next one. I know. I know. I know. Last month you were at my sister Nicole's party. That's right. Oh, that's right. How have, oh, that's How have you been? Oh, that's right. That's right. How have you been? How have you been? Yes, right. Entonces ahí tenemos. Audrey, ¿has tú conocido a Hannah? No, yo no la he, yo no he, yo no he conocido a Hannah. Hannah, me gustaría presentarte, me gustaría que conocieras a Audrey. Y dice, la Han, dice, Hannah dice, hola Audrey, me pareces familiar. Me, 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 te me ves familiar. Y nos hemos eh, conocido antes. No lo creo, le dice. Ah, ya sé. El mes pasado tú estabas en la fiesta de mi hermana Nicole. Oh, es verdad. ¿Cómo has estado? How have you been? ¿Cómo has tú estado? How have you been? Ok, do you have questions? Vaya, entonces tenemos que en el present perfect usted tiene el grammar focus. You are going to listen the grammar focus. Ok, give me a second, please. Give me a second. Page 64, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What do they plan to do tomorrow? So let's just stay yeah, here and relax. Good. I know yeah. you're tired. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thanks, Jan. But we can plan something for tomorrow. Page 65, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Grammar. Present Perfect. Already. Yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Hmm? Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already oh. eaten. No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. The contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Hasn't equals has not. Haven't equals have not. Ok. Entonces tenemos la manera contractada, ¿verdad? Tenemos, podemos decir, eh, you can say, oops, sorry, you can say I have, ah, pero me lo voy a de color. So you can say I have, eh, <ríe> cuando no quiere que eh, esta computadora se mueva eso. I have, so you have a I've. You have, you've, he has, his, she has, she's, it has, it's, we have, we've, they have, they, uh, hasn't, is, has not is equal hasn't, and have not is equal haven't. Esto hasn't, and haven't lo usamos en la manera negativa, ¿verdad? Entonces podemos parar en las maneras, eh, oraciones positivas, podemos utilizar las contracciones que son este lado, ¿verdad? Dice, the present perfect is for with the verb have or has plus the past participle. Y para hacer la pregunta, ponemos el have al principio, ¿verdad? Entonces, para hacer la pregunta, ponemos el auxiliar have al principio. Así como cuando utilizamos do y does or did. Pero en este caso, utilizamos el have. Have you been to a jazz club? Has tú estado en un club de jazz? Eh, yes, I've been to several. Sí, yo he estado en varios. I've been to several. Yo he estado en varios. No, I haven't been to one. No, yo no he estado en uno. I haven't been to one. Yo no he estado en uno. 
Has he called home lately? ¿Ha él llamado a casa recientemente? Yes, he's called twice this week. Yes, eh, sí, él ha llamado dos veces esta semana. No, él no ha llamado en meses. No, él no ha llamado en meses. No, he hasn't called in months. Now, have they eaten dinner yet? ¿Han ellos comido, han ellos cenado? ¿Han ellos comido la cena ya? Yes, they are already, they are, they've, they already eaten. Ellos ya han comido. No, they haven't eaten yet. No, ellos no han comido. Entonces, aquí podemos ver las palabras que utilizamos las palabras already. Espera, already. <ríe> Qué pan, me Tenemos las palabras already y tenemos las palabras yet. Ambos tienen, eh, bueno, ambos significan lo mismo, pero yet también puede significar ya o puede significar aún. Yet. Oh. Yes, pero, ajá. Dice, ¿han ellos comido, han ellos cenado ya? En cambio, el yet lo podemos poner en preguntas y en negativas. El yet, este yet, la palabra yet, la podemos poner en preguntas y negativas. Este yet. En cambio, el already lo vamos a utilizar en oraciones positivas. ¿Verdad? ¿Han ellos ya, ya, ellos ya comieron? Ellos ya comieron. ¿Han, ya han comido. Sí, ellos ya han comido. No, ellos uh, no han comido aún. En este caso, yet, que está al final, significa aún. Entonces, yet lo utilizamos para oraciones negativas y para preguntas. Yet. Y already lo utilizamos para oraciones positivas. También already eh, lo podemos utilizar en preguntas también. Este already. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, already y yet significan ya. Y yet también puede ser aún. ¿Verdad? Okay, ¿tiene preguntas? Do you have any questions or no questions? Um, no questions. Eh, yo tengo una pregunta y era uh -huh. había una palabrita ahí que cómo se, se pronunciaba. Pero ya lo quité. Es ¿Cuál? ahí has he home. No ah, es cole. escrito latele. Lately, recientemente. Lately, recientemente. No es cole, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Es cold. 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 Ajá. Cold Lately. Lately es recientemente. Lately. 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 Sí. Ok. Lately. So, entonces vamos a continuar Lately. mañana con el presente perfecto, ¿verdad? Tomorrow we're going to continue with the present perfect. Vea el video. Tomorrow. Teacher, mañana. Oh, tomorrow no. Yeah, have... on Monday, <laughs> on Monday, yeah. on Monday. So we are going to have yeah, classes yeah. on Monday, okay? Oh, Entonces, wow. have a good night, descanse, se lo merece. Nos vemos el lunes, primero Dios, okay? Bueno. Uh, goodbye. Good Bye, teacher. See you on Monday. Bye, teacher. Bye. Monday, people. See you on Monday. Take See care.